Today is National Gun Violence Awareness Day, and it's a day with significance to many of our communities, especially Durham. So far this year, there have been at least 56 shootings there, resulting in 10 deaths. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janeville spoke to one Durham mother whose daughter was shot and killed, and the people who helped these families heal. Balloons and birthday cake in East Durham Park Thursday. It looked like a party, but it was actually a vigil. I'm thinking about my daughter. In July 2008, Carrie Watkins, 23-year-old daughter, also named Carrie Watkins, was killed in a drive-by shooting. Every year since then, family, friends, and even strangers have come out to celebrate her life. Unfortunately, Watkins is yet another parent in Durham who has to deal with the death of a child. Every time I hear about a mother lost her child as murder, it hurt. It hurt because I know how, I know how she feels. Just three months ago, 15-year-old David Pounds was killed in a drive-by shooting off of Maplewood Drive in Durham. So many of our, our deaths are gun violence deaths. Ruthie Jones works with the Religious Coalition for Nonviolence in Durham. It's her job to organize these vigils in the hopes of keeping memories alive and bringing peace to the family members still mourning. I had a mother tell me um, recently that when she wakes up in the morning, she has maybe five seconds of peace and then it all comes rushing back. Jones tells me she believes in the work they are doing and even though times are tough in Durham now, she thinks change is possible. Watkins tells me because of people like Jones, it's a little easier to get through the day. However, no matter how much time passes, she will never be fully healed. I never could forget it. I remember as today, that moment, you know, when I had to look at my daughter and know that she couldn't say nothing to me. Reporting in Durham, A.J. Janivel for CBS North Carolina.